Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and leave a like, it all helps me out a ton. So, Halo 2 has a special spot in my heart, and I think it does for a lot of people in the Halo community, and one of my favorite missions was when you first get to play as the Arbiter, and you actually go into a heretic base to kill a heretic leader, and that mission just holds a really awesome spot in my heart. So guys, today we're going to make some awesome and amazing heretic-themed grunts and elites, so I hope you enjoy. So to start out this heretic grunt, I need to take off his back to tank. By doing that, I'm going to be using a Dremel, and I did wear eyewear while using this because these Dremel bits, these uh, blades do break pretty easily. Then I used some green stuff on the back and smoothed it out so it looked flush. After that, I started on the elites. The elite here needed to have these chest pieces kind of bulging out, so I made one on each side, as you can see. After that, I did the same thing for the grunt. And honestly, this makes a massive difference at the end of this heretic grunt, just by adding these little chest pieces and following along from the pictures that I saw online. Then we have a forearm piece wrapping around this elite's arm. I'm gonna be adding two little balls to it to make it look more like the picture and the game. Adding a middle piece in the back of this grunt and then adding another one on top with green stuff just to make it have more of that texture like it does in the game rolling out what is going to be one of the back to tank pieces and I made one for each side. Made my best to make them smooth but uh, some one did get kind of crushed sadly. Now I'm adding some of the actual like face guard onto the grunts and then adding two little slim uh, pieces of green stuff to act as his breathing tubes. After that, just kind of cut on and made a little bit more armor, and then I added some eyes onto the Heretic Elite. Then I wrapped this piece around, just like it shows in the game. Same thing to the back. Doing all this was relatively easy and not very challenging, but still had its own problems along the way. Made these upper arm pieces, and then I worked on the thigh guards. The thigh guards had this nice little piece of green stuff coming off the top that I used to add detail and texture to the actual Elite later. Now for the grunts again, adding these bone texture in the back I did with my Spec Ops grunts and I think it looks fantastic and it makes it look very Halo. Now we have to add the actual breathing apparatus piece to the very bottom, so I just used some green stuff and a toothpick and put that around. Making it so the actual tube connected to the bottom of the Elite's head and made it so I have another tube coming off to make it look like the game. Then for the grunt, I had to add more detail to the back of these pieces so they didn't just look like little worms on his back, so I did that just by wrapping small pieces of green stuff around. Now for this part. So these are going to be the Heretic Elite Wings, so I cut all of those out and I just kind of showed you, I didn't want to show you them cutting me out, or me cutting them all out, and I made one on each side. Or four on each, or two on each side, four total. So I had to make 12 of these, sorry. And then I wrapped the bottom of the grunts with some masking tape and I took it outside and I spray painted it with gold. I did that for both and then now I added some skin texture to this Elite. I didn't want to keep in the normal base skin texture, I thought it was didn't really match the game that much so I added a black coat and then I went over it with the same color that I went with the grunt but as a dry brush. So here's the grunt. After the gold, gold looks pretty good and now I just had to add on the skin texture. I added that pretty much to every part that needed the skin texture and it's just gray paint with a little bit of white I believe to kind of break it up or brown paint. Added that onto the arms as well. Once that was done I did a dry brush onto the Elite itself and that gave it a little bit more texture and detail when it actually came to this Elite. Then I added gold for the breathing back to tanks or the things coming out of his mouth. And I added gold for the upper for or for the upper arms as well, just like it shows in the game. Also adding gold to the very top headpiece. And adding white for his goggles. Now I, I forgot to almost make these goggles, but thankfully I didn't, and they looked fantastic. Adding silver for the grunt's uh, face guard face mask piece here and basically just take your time with this be as careful as you can so you don't have to redo the skin texture and now I'm gonna make the grunts little extra green stuff parts turn into bone and this is what really gives those grunts kind of their weird look I always thought so I just followed from the picture and I also painted his toenails adding little 
bits of detail like this make it so your eye doesn't just attract to the top part of the figure but also to the bottom as well now adding some finishing touches which are all these weird kind of green and blue lights that are on these heretic elites and grunts just taking a toothpick and going around slowly and I wanted to make sure these edges came out really good. A toothpick works just fine. It's not the best, but it will work just fine. So I did that for the Heretic Grunts as well, just adding a toothpick line with some blue paints, and it actually turned out really nicely. Once that was done, I had to make the actual back part that were on these Heretic Grunts. They have this weird kind of almost blue gel that are inside of their back to tanks, so I had to just take my time and paint around all four of them. Then I marked them with some red to kind of give them a different kind of skin tote or skin texture. Put some white in the eyes and hit them with a clear coat of paint and there they are. Hey guys, so just real quick, I wanted to show you some of the detailed differences between the two grunts and kind of hold them side by side up to camera. As you can tell, the front pieces on the face look way better, the back to tanks look way better, the, the skin design looks way better, the front of the chest actually has more detailing. Now everything about this newer upgraded heretic grunt looks well better and it's honestly crazy how much a lot of stuff and how much better you can become at sculpting and designing painting in just a few months this is probably only about two months old and with green stuff and taking your time you can make some really amazing figures so let me show you the heretic elite so starting off just so much more detail on this heretic elite now the wings are actually of scale and size the backs look better on this one i think a lot and i like the skin color that i actually gave this heretic elite it gave it that very halo 2 vibe and also the breathing tank actually looks better the headpiece looks better everything is just <laughs> so much better and I'm so very happy so guys there they are I mean they look great honestly they look great here's the side by side I am so very happy with them these wings were just made out of very thin thin plastic and the super glue actually holds them really tightly on and they're kind of bendable so when you move them around the wings move and not the actual bottom part which makes it so they don't break the grunts uh, I, I love the grunts I think the grunts look the best out of everything they're just so they're so halo 2 uh, classic grunt look it, it, it just it's a really nice figure and I'm very very happy with the overall design of the grunt now I have a nice little heretic army we might be having a nice little heretic mock on Monday I'm not entirely sure what I'm making yet for Monday but Monday is going to be a really awesome day so make sure you stay tuned and you're there at 8 p.m. central for that Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you made it this far. Also go check out my Discord server down below and a lot of other stuff. I have a gaming YouTube channel on there as well that I need to be posting on more. Anyway guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all later. Peace out.